So the packaging literally screams out to you to reproduce cinematic color accuracy. I mean, that's pretty much there in the title itself. This is what they want you to experience, cinematic color accuracy. Everything is immersive and accurate. I'm very happy about that. Hey guys, welcome back to Product Nation. Today we have yet another projector review. We're looking at the BenQ W2700 4K UHD HDR Pro projector. So this projector is up there in the lineup for one of the best 4K projectors that support HDR Pro for consumer level. So let's get deep into this and find out why it's really worth your money and whether or not you should purchase this for yourself for a home entertainment system or even just to chill out and play some games on, watch some sports on. So let's just jump right into the review. So here's why this is considered to be a budget projector even though it's kind of pricey. Other 4K projectors with these kind of specs, as I've said before, should cost anywhere from 20,000 to 60,000 ringgits. However, this delivers features way beyond the price range and I can guarantee you that some of these specs can actually blow your mind for what you're paying for it. So let's just start by talking about the build quality, the overall exterior of the projector before we get into the technical coolness of it. So as you can see, it has a very nice smooth finish. It looks very clean. It can blend into any atmosphere, which is what I really like about it. So whether you're doing this at your office, if it's at a home studio or whatever you've set up, it's really great because of what it looks like and how smooth and, and sleek it looks. BenQ is known for making their projectors very simple to use, very easy to set up, and it's just pretty much a plug and play sort of thing, which is what I really like. It's not complicated, no hassles, your basic buttons at the top, you have your power button, up, down, left, right, volume, back, menu, and source. That's it. That's all the buttons you have at the top. You also have your tray that slides back, revealing the focus ring, your zoom dial, and the lens shift. It has this thing called the lens shift that basically allows you to place your projector upside down, straight, without having to maneuver the projector physically just by using the lens shift. So what it does for you is if you mount it upside down, you don't need to move it further away or take it backwards in order to get your image centered or move it up or down. You just use the lens shift and it does the rest for you. So it has the automatic keystone correction with what we just talked about. And that feature alone is really cool because wherever you are moving the projector in space physically, it adjusts the monitor for you and brings back the focus for you automatically. So in terms of inputs, at the back you have your USB 3.0 media reader which is really great, reads data really fast from USB sticks or your SD cards uh, to give you the fastest possible response. Uh, it also has two HDMI ports. Now these two HDMI ports do support HDMI 2.0, which means you get 4K HDR seamlessly. So it's perfect for that. You also have two USBs, so you can charge your devices using this. And also you have an optical audio in for your speakers, which is really great. In the front, there's a cover for the lens. So when you take that off, you can see the lens is revealed. Now here's where it gets interesting. Lenses from other projectors and even BenQ projectors had a problem with light leaks where the lens would leak light towards the ceiling or if you're on the ceiling, place it on the ground, towards the sides. You always had reflection issues with the lenses. So as you can see, there's a base cover at the bottom here. This is basically there just to block out those reflections. So you get a crystal clear image and there's no light leaks, no flares, none of that anywhere. And I really appreciate the fact that they listen to their customers and improve their product based on that, which is really great. Let's talk about the speakers really quick because this is where I feel like this projector really shines. I really liked the speaker quality on this projector. The sound is crisp and clear. You get the best audio range that I've seen on the projector ever. And this may be my personal opinion, but this is the best projector speaker that I've experienced without having to plug in an external source. But if you do have a surround sound system, it does have an optical audio in for you to connect all of your sound devices and get a fully cinematic experience with your perfect surround sound and all that good stuff. But yeah, really happy with the speakers. Good job on that, thank you. So the screen output that you get from this is a 100 inch display. A 100 inch display from a distance of about eight feet away, which is probably the shortest throw distance for a projector, if not the shortest that I know of from projectors. So eight feet away, you get a 100 inch display screen. Awesome, so you don't need a huge space, just eight feet and you can get a 100 inch 
screen, which is awesome. So if you guys have seen that before, we did a review on the BenQ TK800 a while back where I talked about the borders that the projector had on the outside, which was really distracting. So you'd get a black border around your, your, your projected image and it was a bit distracting and I wasn't a fan of that. This has corrected that really well. So the brightness level on this projector isn't really up there, isn't really crazy high. It's at 2000 lumens, which means that it's adequate in daylight but where it really shines where you should be using this the specific time would be at night in a dim or totally dark room which is where this projector really shines because that's the focus for this projector if you're looking for something to use in daylight or ambient light i wouldn't really 100 percent recommend this for you but if you're going for something in a dark room a more cinematic look definitely recommend this one so it also does support hdr pro as i mentioned before this is hdr 10 really great levels of exposure. You get the maximum depth of exposure that I've seen so far, really good. I'm also really happy with the dynamic iris on this, which is essentially um, the projector recognizing the projected image based on the light and adjusting the levels of contrast to best suit the image. If the scene gets really dark, the projector accounts for it by itself and brings up the shadows. If it's really bright, it lowers down the highlights and gives you a perfectly well-balanced HDR image. I loved watching movies on this because of the support of HDR for HDR-enabled movies. It's a different experience entirely when you watch an HDR movie on an HDR projector because there's so much you get out of it that you didn't even know was there. Really love that. So as I said, it's a true 4K UHD projector with 8.3 million pixels. This means it's incredibly sharp. However, it's not really as sharp as some other projectors that I've tried because its main focus is the cinematic color. This is a term coined by BenQ themselves. It's their new standard for their color space because of how good the colors it produces are. Cinematic color here means that it meets cinematic color accuracy standards. You actually get this with it, which is an individual calibration report. Scientific tests they have done to prove that the colors are that accurate. So it has a hundred percent coverage with Rec 709, which is insane. And it also has over 95% with the DCI P3. It would have been a hundred percent accurate DCI P3 if it was in the center, but a 95% to hundred percent is really great. The color accuracy is extremely nice. From my testing in the cinematic mode, when I turn on 4K, um, UHD with HDR, I did have to turn down the saturation a little bit because it tends to uh, be very vibrant so it pops out at you. Not that it looks bad, it's just a personal preference, but the image is absolutely mind-blowing, especially when you're viewing in HDR with HDR-supported movies. It's really awesome. It has something called Cinema Master Video Plus, which is what basically gives you that immersive experience when you're watching movies with this. So it's almost exactly like watching it in the cinema when you're at home or in your office because of how immersive it can really get. Attention to detail is really nice. Colors are really good. Overall, I give this a 10 out of 10 for the video quality. It also supports 3D for all you 3D lovers out there. Um, 3D does dim it down a little bit, but that's expected from 3D in general. So you do have to get 3D supported glasses to view this in 3D, which is insane. Think about that. You can watch 3D movies at home, which is awesome. So yeah, there's that support as well, which is really great. So all in all, if you're looking for a projector that has amazing color quality, amazing HDR and dynamic range and gives you the best accuracy, which is scientifically proven, I mean, I think you should hands down go for the BenQ. Even if you're not looking for that extra detail in 4K, but you focus more on color accuracy, definitely go for the BenQ W2700. But if you're looking for more of a 4K sharp image, then I would suggest other projectors because this is focused mainly on the cinematic experience, which doesn't necessarily involve extremely sharp 4K image. So if you wanna be watching and enjoying movies at home, definitely check out this projector. Do give it a consideration. Head over to their website and check out all the features in detail. Uh, definitely have to get a first-hand experience and look at this. So if you have a chance to experience the projector firsthand, I definitely recommend that because it's really hard for us to show you how good it really is over video. So please, Bless your eyes by using this projector. It's really great. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative and helped you maybe make a decision on whether or not you should purchase this projector. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you again in the next review.